So the Japanese carrier started over here by Guadalcanal mm -hmm. and steamed that way through the night. The American carrier started, where were they? Down there, yeah, so, so down here. And they steamed north through the, or they steamed actually this way through the night. You guys came, ended up, later in the afternoon, you ended up with about six hexes of each other. Mm -hmm. um, which is about what happened historic. I think historically, actually, even closer about here. The Japanese transport started at pretty much in the, in the passage here and broke through about dawn, which is where the Australian and American cruisers met them. And that sank most of the escorts and only one of the transports. A sub picked off another one of the transports up here at, from the ones that were fleeing. More transports were fleeing this way, or still heading for Port Moresby. Uh, the B-26s came down here and sank four of them. So that pretty much put the Americans way ahead on points. Uh, they got a couple, then the carriers got into each other around here. Chicago took two hits. Uh, Yorktown and Lexington each took one hit. A uh, Japanese sub got lucky for another hit on Lexington. Uh, then the Japanese carrier strikes arrived and over in very small waves, about six of them, um, which eventually put Yorktown down and Lexington is now just in 1300, um, took enough hits and she, her flight deck is inoperative. She's got to go back to Pearl Harbor, probably back to San Diego for repairs. She's out of it for, for months. Um, so she's not gonna make Midway and certainly neither will Yorktown. Um, Chicago only took a couple hits. The Japanese air wing is just a shellac. I'd have to go look and see what the numbers are there. Um, oh, a bunch of my guys did come back. <laughs> yes, there was a Betty strike that came in. They hit the Lexington as well. Uh, or no, they didn't hit the Lexington. Uh, only one plane survived out of the whole wave of that. Mm -hmm. uh, Port Moresby and Lay traded some, some uh, missions here. Um, I'd say the Americans came out ahead on that by just a little bit, but there wasn't a whole lot of damage up there. So the B-17s went here, the B-25s came up from Australia. Um, a lot of dead fighters, partly here, especially over there for the Japanese. Um, our Japanese carrier commander was totally new to the game. Um, it showed. Um, again, I said there were very small strikes that were scattered. Um, the Americans did a good job getting their strikes organized together. There was another flight ready to go sitting on the deck, or part of it was warming up on the deck of the Lexington when the last bombs arrived. That's what finished her off. Um, I see these B-26s will be up in about another hour, and then it would take them probably two hours to catch to these guys. So those transports are in a lot of trouble because they've got no cover. The, the Shoho, the other Japanese carrier, actually he was lurking around here this entire time. Um, sent three, oh, was that when that came from? He sent three Kates against Fort Moresby, and they all got shot down. Um, yeah, you, they bombed. The, the carrier struck Fort Moresby, and you guys didn't even notice, right? No, well, well we, we, we thought, wondered. We thought we, we, we saw thought they come they from the south. Yeah. So we thought maybe a strike came to be clever. Well, there's no carrier down there. Yeah, no, nope, there's so a carrier down there. Never I've done that never kind of stuff of out, of, out of lay before. Never would have imagined a carrier Yeah, no, we didn't even think about that. Yep, uh, west yep. and south. So, Troy's still, still alive. He's not swimming. With only three zeros left, though. Yes. Ah. The third nail's gone. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so who won the game? Uh, the Americans are ahead by 78, 78 points. 400 to 320. We, we hit the... We hit the um, but it was... We but, hit the sudden death. We decided to keep going. Before the American carriers got hit, yeah, right. the Americans were ahead uh, Total sudden 310 death. to 90. Yeah. What hurt us, among other things, our big... We had a big, like, nine... Point yeah. Dauntless raid, our big alpha strike. We we were prioritizing the transports. That was our number one mission: kill every transport. And our cruisers found one and were engaging them. We were, I think this is the one with most of the transports left. Yeah. Uh, or we went after the we went after the, the big one with our strike, but they didn't get there in time, and they wasted another two three hours out here finding nobody. And they just got back. They're on the boat now when your last mm. strike came in. Mm. Yep. We had it planned yeah. to launch, strike, get back, and have that strike airborne again at like noon or eleven. Yeah. But they were delayed coming back, and they never did anything. Yeah. And actually, since you were down a, a flight deck, uh, you had to put three planes in the drain. Yes. Um, when That's all, very costly. Oh, came back. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Essentially, you had four waves of American uh, carrier planes. Yeah. One of them was wasted out here. Uh, the other three. They got Chicago. They were a little unlucky, but you know, yeah. you know, it was interesting. Oh, the what I, what I would no, do you were unlucky. 
What I would do differently is I would in, next time I would not send Dauntless. We went way we were the Dauntless. We so thought wait around and wait around and wait around with our carriers. We expected so, the Japanese to you know, be further, do shorter, much further north. I was but luckily we surprised put, as hell that put, the uh, transports were there yeah. as early as they were. Yeah. We just sort of blundered into that. Yeah, them. luckily we had a surface fleet going there. But you were also like, yeah, we better ship down here. Like all of a sudden there's some carriers like, oh yeah. my gosh. I would like to we're we're screwed. Get get the give the guts ready. award to the Australian carrier or cruiser admiral. Not only was he in just the right position to take oh, on those carry? transports, way about the escort. They shot off all their ammunition. He's the, some of the transports fled into a storm, which is what that's representing right there. Did you get away from you? He followed them right in there. Yeah. No yeah. ammunition. We're still going to get them. Yeah, we had a scout force, and then we detached. Ramming speed. We detached. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because the Royal Navy will not be stopped. So. And yeah, with a nice little scout force, we're going to detach cruisers. We're going to, cruisers cruisers to gonna gonna defeat them. the enemy with British grit. Yes, mm -hmm. they run, we chase. The yeah. storm right there, and here's the two Japanese carrier task forces. Here's one of the uh, the survivors of the uh, one of the transports. There's the other transport group. This is the third transport group hauling ass out of here as fast as they possibly can. There was a seaplane tender sitting right here. Um, it sank. It sank. Yeah, the sub snuck in there and, and sank it uh, in broad daylight. The dice were just horrible for the escorts. I decided the escorts would probably just wander off on the fight. Um, so Chicago's over here having taken two hits, two hits. Uh, which slowed her down quite a lot. She doesn't have any airplanes aboard. The Japanese are down to one, three, five, seven, eight. Eight carrier bombers. Only one of them a Kate. So they could possibly, I'm sorry, ten, ten carrier bombers out of... Well, they probably started with 30. Oh, my God. Oh, we had 30 to start? I think so, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, we got annihilated in, uh, in air. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, they started with 31 valves in case. They're down to 10. Um, life is really rough for the rough Wow. For those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys started with 16 zeros, 37 zeros. There, there's at least 12 in the dead pile over there. Um, not as bad for the zero pilots. But again, that's most of the guys that are just up here at Rabal and Lay. The guys at Rabal didn't do anything. Nobody attacked up there. They flew some missions. It was a good day. Too, they were too far away from the carriers with the with the Nels. Yeah. I couldn't get them there and back. Yeah, they, their range is about here. Yeah. Um, but the Betty's got all the way down there, and, and they're on the yep. way, the survivor is on his way back. Um, the, that guy. That guy. That that guy right there. Um, most of the, 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 you ran a really good search pattern down here. I had um, this area blanketed and never yeah. saw shit. <laughs> they track it. They, they, were, they oh, got caught by the by somebody else. They didn't. Oh, did, no, I did catch them one, actually. One of them got picked off, but no, this, this number twenty eight right here, mm -hmm. he's been following them for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the guys didn't see anything, but like two guys definitely spotted just about everything that was there. These guys are just out. Of, it wasn't in their sector. Um, there's the Shoho again, as I say. Um, and he's got a perfect storm front right here to hide behind. Uh, but he probably should get one or two of his fighters over top of the, the last of the transports before uh, the B-26s show up again.